don't forget to check out my Patreon where you can get exclusive access to all my picks and all my trades before they hit the market. And before Advanced Value Guide, as you guys can see, in today's video, what we're going to be talking about is we're going to be talking about the price action of Dogecoin. Okay, and Dogecoin is actually performing something very, very good. Okay, as you guys can see, we're looking, we're going to be in this video looking at two different time frames. Okay, um, and I'm going to be telling you guys all why it's always good to look at different time frames. Okay, so currently we're in a situation where things are probably the most interesting. Um, I'm going to go out and state the obvious, as you guys can see, Bitcoin. Okay, let's see more on the charts. Um, Bitcoin has just hit a crazy, crazy in your all-time high okay and this is my current price target if you're wondering why my current price target is 68k simply because okay the last time okay um if you guys look okay this is the all-time high um, i'm just going to talk about this quickly the last time we had an all-time high guys um, i'm going to show you guys okay every single time bitcoin broke a new all-time high it went up around six percent or around like as you guys can see from here to here you went up around six to five percent so i would say the bitcoin probably is going to go up at least probably to 68k okay that's just my um short projection my mini projection um because every time like as you guys can see in the past here when we broke an all-time high we then went you know six percent or whatever as you guys can see right here so um yeah we went six percent here then we went and broke this all-time high we went five percent so i would say that bitcoin probably is going to go to 68k then that's when we can expect um any kind of retracement but for now um of course this is one green candle but um i do think that you know you don't really get candles that are that big so um what will probably happen is price probably stabilized here and then we're gonna go up but guys this is a dogecoin video okay i just wanted to adjust the bitcoin because i know people are watching this right now like oh bitcoin you all-time high guys dogecoin is gearing up for a huge move okay a huge move and even on the hourly chart guys if you're just looking on the hourly chart you're like okay yeah dogecoin not really doing much dogecoin is actually pretty boring but um when you actually zoom out okay when you look at things okay when you look, look at the lines on the chart um, you guys can see that on the daily time frame, guys, on the daily time frame, guys, this is absolutely ridiculous. Okay, let's delete this. Let me show you guys what this is. Okay, um, we're back to no sleep. If you guys remember in the early days of this channel, I wasn't really sleeping much. But um, yeah, running businesses and making crypto videos um, sometimes kind of kind of <laughs> takes a toll on you. But it's fine. Okay, guys, this is pretty crazy. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Okay, so we got a situation where we've got um resistance at these levels guys um and historically when you ever break a downtrend guys the the coin okay or any asset usually goes on like a decent amount of run guys so um we got ourselves a situation okay let me if i can delete this because you guys ain't gonna be able to see um so let me do this line even though if you go into the four hourly chart this kind this kind of is playing out like we we came up we had this little spike we came back down to retest now we're moving up that kind of is playing out but um let me just show you guys okay why um, not that I'm not bullish here, but why I'm more bullish now because um, Dogecoin has basically completed exactly what I wanted it to do, guys. I remember when we had this buy signal, I was screaming this buy signal for like two weeks. I was saying, guys, we got a super buy signal right here. Um, and if you have bought, you're still in profit. Um, so that's what you know. I did. I did. I did load up on Doge here because at the end of the day, um, we're close to the resistance line and we got a buy signal and Bitcoin is blasting through. And as we know, usually what happens, Bitcoin runs, then the other coins run, guys. And as you guys can see right now, um. As long as Dogecoin can stay above this line on the daily chart, then Dogecoin is going to explode. And as you guys can see right here on the daily chart yesterday, Dogecoin didn't have a great candle close, but today I'm pretty sure Dogecoin is going to have a very, very good candle close, um, which means that Dogecoin right now is literally on the cusp of where we're going to have that breakout, guys. And I promise you guys, okay, the last times, We've had these insane accumulation phases with breakouts, guys. Usually have the upside, guys. Now, remember in, in an earlier video, okay, I talked about um the upside, and I'm gonna show you guys, okay. Um, if we do this, 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 okay, that's wrong. That is wrong. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys the trend-based fib extension. There we go. Um, there we go. There we go. Look, as you guys can see, pretty amazing. You guys can see there that um, yeah, there you guys can see this is the Fibonacci base extension. Um, and basically what this is gonna show us, guys, is where dogecoin can go on the kind of levels that we can expect now this isn't always accurate sometimes it is sometimes it isn't um but yeah it's just it's just an estimate okay and as you guys can see um i do expect dogecoin to be hitting okay in this next wave blasting through everything guys remember the last time we looked at this okay um this is the move that we wanted guys now it looks small on the map okay it looks small on this you know on this chart let me actually you know pull the rsi down where's the rsi let's pull the rsi down right there as you guys can see it doesn't look great okay in the sense that you know i've got all of this stuff on the chart but um if i remove this um there we go remove that you guys can see okay that dogecoin literally okay that candle closed guys that candle closing right outside of this okay is very very bullish because it means that this could potentially be the start of an uptrend now when we look on even the shorter time frame guys you can see that on the shorter time frame you can also see that like we've come down and we've re retested this line guys which is good okay so provided that dogecoin can literally just stay here 
okay the upside is going to be massive guys okay massive massive upside now of course dogecoin isn't exactly you know a coin that's in the public eye right now i, I would say that you know dogecoin isn't i mean not in the public eye but not a coin that's trending as much as Shiba. and it do does look interestingly enough and that this pattern could be forming as well so this pattern right here i'm actually just you know i just looked at the chart i just saw that there's there's some cl some clear resistance so i'm going to go ahead and extend this because i feel like this is what dogecoin could have so i'm going to just um extend this also because as you guys can see there is some resistance there and there is some resistance there um, um, and there's confluence between these two things. So, you know, resistance here, resistance here. So at the end of the day, I realized that in trading, and even when I'm looking at price action, guys, I don't really trade often. I don't really trade when something is super obvious and there's like a 90% chance of it's coming true. I just be like, you know, this is free money. I'm going to take this trade. Um, so yeah, as you guys can see right here, this is exactly what Doge is forming right now. So as you guys can see, the key level for us to get above is 25 cents, guys, um, and then 26 cents. So for those two key levels, that is good. But even on the daily, guys, on the daily chart, this is as bullish as you're going to get. Like this is as bullish as you can really get right now. And even yesterday, we had a huge green candle. Unfortunately, we didn't close above, which would have been nice. But um, yeah, currently, guys, for dogecoin i'm expecting massive upside here and i would say um realistically you can wait for confirmation most traders and people what they do is they wait for dogecoin to go up here do something like that but at the end of the day um, i did buy dogecoin when i saw this buy signal so right now i'm just waiting to see okay um you know if dogecoin can manage to get above this line and then that's when you're going to see explosive growth once dogecoin breaks through this line okay and then breaks through this resistance line that upside is going to be extremely extremely massive so that is what i'm waiting on for dogecoin because right now guys bitcoin literally just hit a new all-time high and i think that within the next couple of days we're going to go ahead and hit 68,000 before we head to, towards some resistance now if you guys want to know um why i shorted bitcoin okay i did short bitcoin a little bit around here okay but when you do do some trades okay this wasn't a big trade by any means like i said the majority of my trades recently have only been like a hundred or so dollars this trade i'm going to show you guys okay um when you do kind of trades um where is it 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 I'll show you guys okay what happens when you short okay you guys can see that um you know depending on what, what you kind of use you know um you can kind of set um your stop losses okay my stop loss was set pretty quickly because i don't want to get you know you know just completely destroyed by fake wicks and stuff like that and you have to understand that i always said guys in my videos if you've been watching this channel for a while i always said that shorting is probably the most riskiest thing you can ever do and i advise people to never short guys like never ever hit that button ever guys like i would only say if you are just a million bazillion percent sure that the price is going down then maybe maybe guys and that's a maybe but even if you know the price is going down don't short because basically what exchanges do is they print fake candles to money from shorters anyways guys so um that's what exchanges do which is why i would never short so even then i just went against my best interest i shorted um we got stopped out but yeah now for me i'm just sitting on the sidelines waiting for doge to pop off because i did already buy some um for shiba inu also i'm waiting for that to pop off as well and as for the bitcoin long term guys if you're wondering where is bitcoin going long term guys you know when people are saying it's going to 100k by the end of the year that is something that is possible and more on the likely side than the bearish case george coin um and bitcoin are going to be moving towards the higher ends um you know in in the end of the year simply because when you look okay um at, at the daily and at the weekly you can see that things are extremely extremely bullish especially even on the weekly guys like on the weekly um you know what bitcoin has done here as you guys can see bitcoin has um let me show you um it's literally you know can't come up to this level and kind of use it as support so when it's come up across this level use that support um you know you, you're going to get a very very bullish price action so and i remember in a previous video i know i make so many videos but i always said okay that once we touch this line okay this major line right here there's going to be a move up that at, at least 15 percent guys because if we look up okay you guys can see that this line right here i'm going to show you guys this yellow line okay one that i've been watching for a while um anytime we've touched it there's a major move so we touched it here major move down touched it here major move up touched it here major move up touched it here major move back up and then broke through it major move all the way down touched it major move all the way up touched it moved the way down and touched it here major move all the way to a new term high so this these two lines these two lines are key lines selling us so once we broke through here i was like yep bitcoin is definitely going to make a, a very, very decent move um to the upside i still do think that we're overdue for a tracement i just don't know how far it's going to take us could it take us back to this it could it could it could take us back to this or it could not guys because at the end of the day cryptocurrency is extremely volatile um and it's going to be very interesting to see where dogecoin is at the end of the cycle because um i do feel like 
you know, Doge's spot, spotlight might get taken. But I still do feel that even if Doge doesn't manage to fulfill the $1, there's still going to be a lot of upside considering it's broken out of this consolidation phase and considering that it's a very, very strong cryptocurrency with a very, very strong community. So I would say, guys, for now, okay, Dogecoin is extremely bullish because the last time I remember the crypto run when Bitcoin had its major runs, um, altcoins did run after. But I would just say all we need to do, guys, now is literally just to watch this pattern just to see when Dogecoin breaks this line and then we can start to, you know, have these kind of projections because because like I said, if Dogecoin even doesn't manage to fulfill these insane levels, okay, it's still going to be going at least back up to, you know, probably the all-time highs or at least coming and testing these Fibonacci levels um, before breaking out so guys um so far everything is looking good for doge the setup is perfect we've broken um and you guys always want to make sure okay that the longer the time frame you're looking at the more accurate the picture and on the daily time frame guys that's the weekly but on the daily time frame guys um things definitely look um very very good guys like truly you know i can't really say anything bad unless daily candles start to close um down here like we start to get candles down here then yes things might look a look more bearish but even then as we approach the end here, we're still going to be um, breaking out. So with that being said, guys, Dogecoin has, you know, um, no, it was never really bearish in my opinion. I always said that once we had this signal right here, things got really bullish. So I would say that for now, okay, Dogecoin, um, we're just waiting to see confirmation of the breakout, guys. So the breakout is already here, but all we need is just literally above this line. And then that breakout is pretty much completely done. So with that being said, guys, um, if you guys have enjoyed the video, let me know what you guys think of Bitcoin's new all-time high. Um, and I'm going to see you guys in the next one.